Hi friends and friendly subscribers, welcome back to my channel. This is Inner Hill Tarot. Today we're going to do unboxing of this beautiful Moon Dust Tarot by Florence Soul. It comes from Watkins Publishing, so it's a mass market deck. And I have a feeling this deck is the uh, mass market answer to a lot of um, other decks. Uh, that have beautiful uh, pictures that have uh, 18th, 17th century um, not pictures but paintings something like this and I'm not sure if they have something like this in the mass market department before but from the guidebook it seems like it's something um that has something to do with it but to see it a glimpse in the cart it seems like it's a something else entirely <laughs> so i don't know what to expect so this deck is from watkins by florence so um wow first published in uk and usa in 2023 yes it's made in china of course it's watkins publishing um so yeah infused with magic the moon dust star is inspired by secret incantations okay they were creator of the wheel chariots divination and many of the new age and mainstream ritual we take for granted today as you become familiar with this deck you will can f you will find you can quickly harness the power of the personas each card represents Okay, but it doesn't really say what is a moon dust tarot means. It's quite um, like a very basic explanation of what tarot is. There's a moon dust new moon card spread, moon cycle spread, full moon. Okay, so there is not much um, explanation. So Florence Sol, the artist of this deck, supposedly psychic and occult expert and the author of the Mundas Dream Dictionary, also on tiflo.com. Okay, this is a bit weird. But I like the way that every card has its own poem. That is beautiful, actually. That is quite rare in a lot of different guidebooks. Okay, I thought they will say like, what is the moon, moon does means? I guess it's just the name then. Nevertheless, let's start to see the cards. Wow, it's really nice actually with the gold edges. I'm sorry for people who doesn't like the edges on the cards that now is quite um, kind of like a standard before it's it's like a luxury now it's become standard and some people like to edging the cards themselves with different color um i actually don't like to do that practice because it make it my, more like homey feeling of the deck so and it's make it harder to um if you want to rehome the deck i think because a lot of people don't like it but that is my opinion and um, let's start this uh, flip through. Enjoy, guys. On the get go, it seems like this deck is looks like an oracle card deck, actually. <laughs> but 
Yeah, because a typical, it looks like a typical um, oracle cards from Rockpool or something like this. It's a bit weird. I know, it's a bit weird, yes. My cat is just next to me. I don't know, it feels a little bit like Daniel Noel E. Like something that Daniel Noel could do, but not in a very good way, in a way. It feels very oracle-y, not very tarot feeling to me. quite nice okay I'm sorry if I've been really quiet because I really don't know how to feel looking at all of these cards. It feels a bit strange. I thought it would be more something like this because this is what they put in the um on the cover. But then inside there's so many um modern looking um portraits of model it seems it's just quite weird it looks like um like a catalog pictures i don't know like ace of one is a bit weird you know, I mean, I thought aces is supposed to be like very grandeur and this ace of wands looks very skinny. Um, lack of grand or something. You see what I mean? That I said it looks a bit like catalog, fashion catalog picture -y. Maybe I'm too harsh because I was like a professional photographer and I see it immediately when I see things like this this is really weird like five of ones what is this odd It's, you know, like the Ten of Wands is supposed to be like someone with a lot of Wands. It's not supposed to be something like a goddess just walking around with a bunch of uh, Wands pasted on this picture with an owl. I don't know. 
and also the clothing that these people wearing these ladies it's really something that feels come from the same factory um from somewhere in the middle of china <laughs> as a as a costume or as something that's um you know like from a one for one bridal store you see what i mean what they're wearing like queen of wands like this it's a bit weird And even like this one, I think the head is like pasted. <laughs> the head is not proportionate with the body. It's just weird. <laughs> what is this? It's so weird. <laughs> oh my god. But don't you see it? It's like a it's like a bottleneck or something like that. This is so odd. But maybe it is his picture because the hand is so small. This is so odd, the whole thing. The proportion is weird. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Do laugh. Looks like Sleeping Beauty is sleeping. Five of Swords with two tiger against each other and a lady in the back. Okay, I don't get it. And also like some of the uh, pictures are pipish like this and some is like have a bit of a seam. It's a bit weird. It's like they don't know how to depict the, a card or something, and then they just decided let's just make this one pipish. It's weird. But this nine of swords, it's supposed to be a card of nightmare. Yeah, I don't get it. Look, I think this deck intention is to make a deck like this that's probably mimicking a deck like tarot of aphrodite or the uh, something like this the victorian romantic where it's like reworking um old paintings but then i think they just don't have enough uh, free um, free use pictures from the public library that is not similar with deck like this for example who actually did took a lot of um, resource from the free picture because some of the picture is like this and it's really beautiful actually even though I'm not sure this is appropriate for the ten of swords but then we've got this that is very a modern version of something it looks like a really a uh, fashion catalog photography somehow it's just the proportion of things are quite weird You know what I mean? Okay, 
can see the shadow of this cup it's just like maybe the artist took the pictures herself with all of these ladies in beautiful gowns i don't know The only thing that I like about this deck is the back of the deck because it's beautifully done. But yeah, we just finished the flip through of this deck and it's uh, it's quite disappointing because I was I thought what I bought is something entirely different. Um and this is like mix match mix mix and match collage in daniel no style it's not really working for me it's kind of rubbing me in the wrong direction to be honest but maybe it's just me maybe i'm snob or something like this i don't get the art therefore i don't recommend it um yeah let me know what do you guys think do you actually like this type of art um in a tarot deck does it give you something uh, that you can read with you think and if you already use this deck for your practice please do please do let me know as well because maybe i'm missing something in that i cannot understand and therefore i cannot appreciate this deck I just can't get rid of my mind when I see this type of picture that they're taking picture for catalog fashion or something like this. It's a bit hard for me, you see? This kind of figure. And I don't know why this picture become Eight of Pentacles. What is she learning? She learning gazing? Towards outside or something? I don't know, it's just really weird. The only good pick the only good card in here is the nine of pentacles in my opinion but that's the reason i bought this deck because it's in front is advertised like this oh there it is the catalog picture again catalog pictures i never seen a queen of pentacles nonchalantly like this at least this king of pentacles have a correct proportion between the head and the body you know this is like a really weird king of wands you know what i mean like look at this are they the same person even it's just really bizarre <laughs> Anyway, I guess I will leave you to it. Um, I don't know what to say. It's just really, really funny. I think my cat also feels that way. Isn't it, baby? <laughs> so anyway, that's it for me. Um, for now, I don't recommend you to buy this tarot deck. But if you do and you find it resonated with your practice... Please do let me know uh, in the comments because I really would like to learn what am I missing here, you know? Maybe I do missing something. Yeah. I probably do missing something in this. So, yeah, do let me know. And thank you so much uh, for being here. If you like this channel and this video, even though I don't recommend to buy the deck in the end, please uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment because that's the fastest way and the easiest way for you to um, enabling me 
to keep doing this type of video and content and i hope this video has been um, entertaining for you the least and see you in the next one bye bye